Hi everyone, my name is Yukari and I will be making daily process videos um, for the, the month of July as I sketch in my Hobonichi Techo for World Watercolor Month. So let's get started. Today is day 12 and the prompt is Ripple and I've decided to paint uh, an iris. Um, which has ripply petals all around. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here are my supplies. I'm using a dagger brush and a Chinese um, brush um, because it has really nice pointed end. Um, I've mixed cobalt to blue with Quinn Rose for the purple color and I've made the green with cobalt blue and Quinn Gold. And I will be using Quinn Gold at the end. And I went ahead and drew out the, um, the sketch ahead of time because it took me a long time to do it. And I'm using the Chinese brush um, and loaded it with the, the purple and um, trying to wiggle it to create um, the faded look on the end of the petal. And I'm also gonna try out my dagger brush to see which one um, I like. And I, I guess depending on where it is, um, I like this dagger brush a little bit better um, so I think I'm going to use that brush for the top part and the, my Chinese uh, paintbrush for the bottom part of the petal. Um, but I am going to start really with the background of cobalt blue with Quinn Gold. Just wanted to have a, a really light background and just coloring over the leaf and the stem sketch because I'm going to be painting over that anyway. And I'm not particularly uh, paying attention to whether that green and the purple are gonna mix. And I think there's not enough paint um, to, to make a huge difference. And you'll see a little bit of a bleed, but I, this, I think that just adds to uh, the paint. And once I cover the entire page with this light green color, I'm actually going to paint the entire page with that green and I'm going to remove a lot of it with a paper towel. And so now that I've removed a lot um, of the paint, I'm going to go back with my brush, a round brush, and painting the petals. And I'm going to be adding shadows to those petals um, to create more of the ripple effect. Um, but just laying down the basic purpley color on the ends and I've added just a little bit of cobalt blue to add a little more shadowing to the petals. And I'm going to pick up a little more of that Quinn Rose to make that purpley color. And uh, I think it definitely helps if you've had a little more coffee before you do this so that your hands can shake a little bit. I think that creates a really nice sort of a, a ripple effect here. Irises are, are beautiful with all that light veining and that is what I'm trying to, to do here. And my usual round brush that I use, either the number 10 um, or 8, it's hard for me to get a really nice point. Um, and but uh, it's easier on my with my Chinese brush so that's what I'm using here and the iris has lots of um, overlapping intertwining petals and so I'm trying to work on different sections 
adding more color as I go. And I'm going to be skipping to that dagger brush in just a minute. And that dagger brush is not really, uh, I didn't buy it as a watercolor brush, um, but I, I saw another artist use it to create flowers. And so I, I did purchase that a couple of years ago, but I don't use it very often, but I did bring it with me because I knew I was going to be painting lots of, um, of florals. And so there are uh, petals that haven't quite um, opened up, and that is what is on, on top. And I just wet the paint brush a little bit to create that light purple. And now it's just a matter of adding more details, really. And this is a mixture of cobalt uh, blue and quin gold again for the, the stem. And letting that round brush sort of create that leaf shape. So I don't usually share um, how I journal or at least the, the quote part. And today um, I've decided that I wanted to add a quote around my painting, sort of in a circular fashion. So I thought today I would share um, how I do it. I did pencil in the actual quote very lightly and I'll just erase. I'm using it really as just a guide so I can space it evenly. So the quote is, when a, bloom, uh, when a flower blooms, the ripples of happiness bring joy to the world. which combine uh, our prompt of ripple with the, um, with the flower. So I thought that was um, a nice quote. All right, here is my completed journal page. And um, I didn't rework the, the petal so much, um, but I, I probably should have stopped <laughs> um, a couple minutes earlier before the, the purple starts to run a little bit. But you know, that's just how I paint. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching and we will see you tomorrow.